all these pop stars out here I couldn't give a fuck <laughs> but but like Patty Smith like oh my god like she's she is one of the greats Hey, I'm Tom O'Dell, and these are my five essential tracks on 3FM. So the first song I've chosen is by a band, uh, a new band that I, my, they're my favorite new band in the world, and they're called the Lemon Twigs. There's a song called As Long As We're Together, which really reminds me of the sort of Beach Boys or late 60s era, which I love. Uh, and I, it's just got so much energy and, and I love it. And I've never, I've never seen them live, but I'd like to see them live. The thing I love about their music is it's a proper band playing. It's like, it's proper musicianship. And they're wonderful mu musicians. And you rarely hear in popular music these days, like virtuoso musicians or, or good musicians being celebrated. It's, it's less popular right now. And I think what I love about the Lemon Twigs is they, they're doing the, the absolute opposite. And I think in a lot of ways, like with the band that I've played with now for many years, that's always what we're trying to achieve. When we record and when we do gigs, we want this electricity, this natural electricity that is not relying on computers or homogenized, quantizing, all those words, you know, is it's very much sort of about the instruments and it's about it being spontaneous on stage and things go wrong and, and that's what I love. And I think the Lemon Twigs are a band that really do that so well. And I find it really inspiring. Track number two, is I'm gonna choose uh, Aretha Franklin as she sadly now left us. And I choose this mostly because I've been listening to her music for two days since she died. I remember seeing this performance of Aretha in recent years, getting up and singing, you make me feel like a natural woman. And watching this, and I don't know if I was just a bit tired, but I, I cried and I watched it because it was the sort of defiance of Aretha, what she was saying, you make me feel like a natural woman. And she got up from the piano and she dropped her coat and she sang this song. And the whole audience, I think President Obama was there and he was crying. It's just one of, occasionally I think performances just have this ability to just touch something. And I don't quite know what she managed to touch, but it was so resonant and, and one of the most powerful things I've ever watched on my computer. <laughs> my next one is uh, Paul Simon, still crazy after all these years. And I saw Paul Simon in concert in London on his farewell tour. And still crazy after all these years, has been one of my favorite songs for many, many years. And I think for me, it's the, the, the depth of the songwriting. There's no one else like Paul Simon. And he's hugely inspiring when I was making this new record in trying to aim high with the words and the words and the melody and it always been about that words and the melody and i ain't no fool for love songs that whisper in my ears still crazy after all these years still crazy after all these years and i find paul simon to be i think he's one of the you know, he's one of the greats, but one of the maybe three or four greats. It's, it, he's a, I can't name maybe 
two or three songwriters that are on his par. He's, he's phenomenal. And I find, I, I listen back to his music and for me, it's the heights of popular music. Like, you, it doesn't get any better. Um, to be able to write something so evocative, like Still Crazy After All These Years, in three and a half, four minutes, you know, a piece of music like that, I think it's what gets me up every morning. <laughs> you know, it was, it's what gets me songwriting. Track number four is, because uh, I put this plays together quickly, I was just in my dressing room across the way. What's amazing is our dressing room was opposite Patti Smith's. So I chose her song Gloria, just because I think it's worth hearing it on the radio occasionally. <laughs> Band and I got talking to her, and we started talking about Robert Maplethorpe, and we started talking about Bob Dylan, and I asked her about Bruce Springsteen because, you know, her first big hit was from Bruce Springsteen, and I would say I rarely get starstruck. You know, all these pop stars out here, I couldn't give a fuck. <laughs> but, but like, Patti Smith, like, oh my God, like she's. She is one of the greats. Um, her album Horses is one of my favorite albums of all time. And just to meet her just moments ago is like, like I'm still like really shaking a little bit. <laughs> I chose my track five after choosing my track four. And so I'd say my track five is Bruce Springsteen because I was thinking about how Patty's first big hit was with a Bruce Springsteen song. And then I thought, I don't often talk about it, but Springsteen's a massive inspiration for me. And uh, someone I admire, he's up there with the Paul Simons. And, but there's one of his albums, Nebraska, is one of my favorite albums of all time. And I'm gonna choose the title track, Nebraska, for the storytelling. From the town of Nebraska with a sawed off 14 on my lap through the bad lines of Wyoming. That writing in, in character was is something that's massive, massively inspired my new album. On the first two albums, it was much more first person, where this third album, Jubilee Road, it was much more writing in third person and there's this famous expression amongst novelists which is you learn more about yourself when you write in the third person than you write when, when you write in the first person and i would say that my latest album is the most honest i've ever written and it, and i'd say 60 percent of it is in the third person it's and it's about characters and it's storytelling and it's a whole world of songwriting that i've discovered and it's like discovering a whole new instrument uh, I love it. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more essential tracks, you can click here. And I want to send you lots of love and take a little glass of wine. Enjoy the rest of your day or evening, or even if it's the morning, enjoy it. Take care. Goodbye.